It's great to be with you, uh, uh, talking to you from my office in beautiful West Lynn, Oregon. So thanks for uh, listening and thanks for doing this with me and being patient because uh, I just had a hard time being in two places at one time. So I hope this works out and I hope that it looks good and uh, comes across the way that uh, I want it to come across to you because I want you to see for yourselves that this business is the single best business opportunity in the world and anybody can do it because I believe with all my heart anybody can do it. You know, back in 1987, Yvonne and I went through a, a real rough time in our lives. We went through a bankruptcy, and I'm not going to tell the whole story today, but uh, it's on tape. She can buy, you know, but bottom line is we went through a bankruptcy, and it hurt, our, it hurt everything. But what really hurt was self-image. It hurt confidence. It hurt all those things, and so we had to, to rebuild our life. You know, so a couple things went on, 1987, the bankruptcy, moved back home with mom and dad, uh, did a lot of things that uh, honestly weren't very comfortable, we didn't want to do. It was very, very uncomfortable time, but sometimes you got to do whatever it takes. Remember, W-I-T, whatever it takes, and we did, at that time in our life, whatever it took. And so, we lived with there for about, just about two years, actually, and uh, but we were looking for something. You know, we went through some stressful times, of course, and... Uh, you know, it's, it's so hard to explain now, 14 years later, it just seems so uh, oblivious to me in the past, but it was so eventful because of how it made me look at the future and where we are today. Because at some point in that time period, something in me snapped. And I know that it was after a long period of time of, of in January of 1990, I hit the wall, so to speak, with some stress problems. The doctors ordered me to go to bed and stay in bed for eight months. And so that was pretty tough for a wound up for a high strung guy like me do, just lay around and do absolutely nothing. That was fairly difficult for me to do. But uh, Yvonne got three jobs and she was working really, really hard and I wasn't doing anything but laying there. And in August of 1990, I said, I'm done. I'm absolutely finished. I'm sick of this crap. I'm up. I'm out of here. We're going to make a change. I'm so tired of being broke. I'm so tired of my life working three jobs. I'm tired of this happening. We got to get out of this mess. And so in the uh, September of 1990, what happened then basically was, actually later in August, I got down on my knees one night and I said my prayers. And I said, you know what, Heavenly Father, send me something. I don't care what it is, send me something to make a change in our life for the better. I'll do it. You just send it. And two weeks later to the day, the phone rang. And on the other end of that phone was a guy we all know named Dave Johnson. And uh, I never met him in my life. I did not know him. And uh, here's what he said to me. He said, is this Reed Nelson? I said, yes, it is. And he says, well, my name is Dave Johnson. You don't know me, but I'm a friend of a guy that you do know named Clyde Pack. Now, I assume Clyde and Sandy Pack are probably in that audience today. And uh, God love you for that, <laughs> for putting Dave up to that phone call. But bottom line was, you know, I said, so what's up, Dave? And he says, well, we're involved with, in a joint business venture together with a company called Niken. Have you ever heard of it? I said, no. What do they do? And he said, they sell magnet beds. <laughs> I'll never forget that as long as I live. Went, oh my gosh. I looked at my wife and went, <laughs> like this, got a wacko on the phone or something. But it was just so weird. Magnet bed. All these thoughts went through my mind. Nothing like what I've experienced today went through my mind, however. And so I just basically said, Dave, you know, I let him talk for a second or two. I said, Dave, listen, I appreciate the call. Thanks very much. Click. And that was the end of that phone call. It wasn't rude, just excuse myself and got off the phone. Two weeks later, Clyde Pat called me back on the phone. And he literally begged me to look at this thing, and so I said, yes. Okay, I'll look at it, send me something. A couple weeks later, some tapes sh showed up. I might show you those tapes. We're in the other room here. I might show them to you. And <laughs> we should do that, Jeff. Should. Jeff's on the other side of the camera here. should show him the tapes. But uh, bottom line is, he sent this information. We looked at it, and long story short, we threw our hat in the ring in me, Ken. And it was really, really interesting. So what I want to do is I want you to know that not everybody you're going to talk to, a lot of new people in that audience today, not everybody you're going to talk to is going to just jump into this business with you and say, oh yeah, I want to do this. Oh yeah, please, I want in. They're not going to come to you like that. It's not going to happen that way. You know, the fact is some of the most skeptical people in the world were your best distributors. You know, we were very skeptical. We weren't negative, we were just skeptical. And so with that in mind, Let's go to the next phase of that story real quickly, because after we went through, we looked at the information the client sent us via some audio cassette tapes and that sort of thing, and then we tried the product out, and that was so critical to this business. Some people don't loan product. We were loaning maniacs, you know, because you know what? I didn't want to sell anybody anything. 
I wanted to try it. If they liked it, I knew they'd like it and they'd get in or buy it or whatever. And so we, we did a lot of that and still do. I think it's a very important point. Oftentimes, after all these years, we get lazy, we get sloppy, and we don't do some of the things that really made us successful. And so that's really, really important. But I want to show you what we did. When we finally made the decision to do this, I want to show you the numbers we actually did. And I want to share with you the, the, the sales pitch, if you will, that we gave people. The pitch kind of went like this. I'd call somebody up. I've got a friend of ours, Nick Riddle, sitting here to my left over here. And this, uh, I'm going to use Nick as an example. I'd say, I'd call him up and say, ring, ring, and say, Nick, this is Reed Nelson. How you doing? How you doing, Reed? Doing great, buddy. Listen, Yvonne and I recently got involved with a company called Nikan. You ever heard of that? Mm, not really, no. Not really. Well, it's something that actually, actually we're just absolutely excited about. And we'd be honored if you'd consider joining us in this venture. Well, what they do, what is, what is it about? You know, and that's usually what's going to happen. You may not have heard that, I don't know. But basically he said, what are you doing, what's it all about? You know, when you ask somebody that, you know, or say that statement, you know, I would be honored if you join us in this venture. All types of things go up in the air like that. Whoa, what do you mean, honored? Whoa, what is that all about, you know? But bottom line, three things get ready to come back. What are you doing? What are you selling? What's it all about? Something like that comes back. And that's when I say something like this. I'll say, well, you know what? This company markets sleep systems and massage devices and all types of things to help people have less stress in their life. But that's really not what I want to talk to you about. What I want to talk to you about is how do you fit in this business with us. So give me an hour. And notice, I didn't ask for an hour. I said, give me an hour. Give me an hour. First thing we'll do is sit down. We'll talk about the product. Because if you don't like the product, you wouldn't get in anyway, right? There would be no way. And then we'll talk about the business a little bit. And if after an hour or so you like what you see, we have a lot more to talk about. If you don't like what you see for any reason, that's okay. That's totally fine. Because I still think you're going to want to be a consumer of the finest products I've ever seen in my life. And I close it this way. Fair enough? Because it is fair. It's totally fair. All you're asking them to do is look. Okay? Now, if you really got some guts to you, <laughs> and somebody's giving you a hard time, you say, hey, by, by the way, Nick, as a friend, I expect you to at least look. <laughs> you know? As a friend, that's what you want. You want them to at least look. I'm not forcing you down your throat, but as a friend, I do expect you to at least look. And then you're just trying to jockey for a time to sit down with them. In my case, it might be here at my house. It might be at the, at the coffee shop. Who knows? All that really doesn't matter. You're just trying to get a time to get together. So that's my little pitch, and that's how we set things up. And here's what happened. We actually made a list of 274 people. Fact is, hang on a minute. I know this is on video, so don't follow me. Be right back. Can you zoom in on this, Jeff? This is my calendar from 1990. I keep it by my desk at all times. This is exactly the original list of names is right here. Now you may not be able to see that because it's done in red ink on yellow paper, but there's 274 names on these sheets of paper with their phone numbers. It wasn't overly organized or anything, but I like to show this to people so they can see that it was real. I didn't make this up. It's all right here. It's just, uh, I would say, in yellow and red, <laughs> and sometimes blue. But that's the original list, and that's the original calendar that we used. Now, we made a list of 274 names, and in the first month, in the month of November of 1990, we contacted 226 of those people in one month. And we gave them that same basic pitch with the idea of sitting down with them one-on-one, -on -one, getting into wellness previews, all the things that you could use to do that with. And out of that 226, 101 said they would look. They would look. Okay? That meant we had 125 people say no, right out of the chute. Now, I'm always saying, if you're glutton for punishment, get it over with quick. You know, if you don't like rejection, get it done fast. You don't have to worry about it. Okay? I know people have been in this business 10 years and haven't talked to 226 people yet. Well, we talked to 226 people the first month. 125 wouldn't even talk to us about it. And 101 said they would. Out of this 101, everything happened in that first month. Everything. They had a rollout. So they had a product experience, they had a good explanation of the compensation plan, either in a one-on-one -on -one setting or a wellness preview, or what have you. So they pretty much got all the information they needed to make an intelligent decision. And what happened from that 101 was 27 of those people said flat out, no thanks. I want nothing to do with it, I don't want to buy anything, I don't want to do anything. 54 of these people became customers. Customers, retail customers, what a concept for network marketing, right? What a whole new concept. Most network marketing companies, you know, you get in to be your own best customer and just sponsor Joe Blow. And they, everybody consumes their way to success somehow. Well, we had 54 legitimate 
retail customers. In fact, is we made over two thousand dollars net profit from those customers in the first month, just because they they didn't want to get it, but they saw value in the product. Very very important. And then twenty became what we call today wellness consultants. So out of the hundred well, we had twenty seven people say no, fifty four customers, twenty wellness consultants. From that whole effort here, we did one hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars in volume on our first wholesale check was $22,500. We were excited. We were excited out of our minds. That was so unbelievable. It was just crazy. The fact is, I told Yvonne, well, you can quit your job now. She said, listen, guy, that was one month. Don't get so excited. That's one time. Let's see if you can do it again. Well, the next month, we went back to this. We are still following up with people doing things. We went back to this group, and uh, three more people got in. So by the end of the third, second month, we had actually added three more to this one. So we had 23 people sponsored. And uh, by the way, out of this first 20, we became silvers, and three of our people went silver. So we were gold in that first month. The next month, we sponsored three more, and three more people went silver. So we were platinums by the end of the second month. And those days, I had a car program that they said, you know, once you go platinum, we'll give you $20,000 in cash, or you can take the $20,000 and put it towards a car. And you can just buy the car and you get the pink slip on it, own it, whatever you want. 